here's a video. Here's a video for Crab Man. Or for all the guys that thought that, you know, were a little bit poo-poo in it. And it definitely brings it all back to you. I think. I believe. I watched a little bit of it and then I let it run. But here we go. Call of Duty Vanguard is not worth 60 bucks. I don't know. We'll see. Hello, guys and gals. Me oh, hey, man. What's up, dude? To talk about Call of Duty. This guy's a brown brother like me, man. I like this guy. He has a nice beard. He has a nice haircut. You know, he's got the Dibs haircut from when he was 12. It's fantastic. He also wears a hoodie. I wear a hoodie all the fucking time. Even at work. He's Canadian. You might know Bunty King, bro. You might know Bunty King. You got that ultra, ultra wide. You know he's making content on that freaking, on that thing. He's got great lips. Mm. Look at that. You got those, you got those big wet lips. It's a good time, man. Vanguard and why you shouldn't actually buy it because oh. it's actually not worth sixty dollars. I know, I know. What are you talking about, bro? It's, it's completely, completely worth sixty bucks. What are you talking about? A bit of a you know Nashville hot chicken take right there. You know what I mean? A Call of Duty game not being worth it for sixty dollars? Say less, King. No, I'm I'm curious. Okay, if it's one thing that I always really <laughs> love about Call of Duty is it comes out every year. You did. And this year I was a little weirded out. You know, I didn't yep. see the whole fanfare. You know, usually I'm on Twitter. Yeah, holy shit. It's literally, it's literally, this is, this is Bunty's cousin, bro. This is who it is, bro. It's Bunty's cousin, man. This is his cousin. 100%. They're both from Canada. And that boy's got a serious problem with G Fuel. Can you see these, these G Fuel things that are stacked up, bro? No wonder he's pumping out content like an absolute beast. Constantly witnessing somebody talk about, this is the next new COD leak, guys. Hey, guys, you know you're <laughs> making a COD game? Yeah, I, I think we all know, okay? If it's one thing that's... We all know he's doing well, man. He's wearing some, you know, he's wearing, he's, he's, he's got, he's got, he's, he's, he's got the brands on point. Me, I wear this fucking Kmart shit, bro, all day. You know why? Because then that way you look at these videos later and go, oh yeah, he's just wearing a fucking flannel. It's all good. It's seeing the back. I don't know anything about style. Don't look at me. Of my dad's hand when I get an A minus on an English test, and then also <laughs> understanding that Call of Duty releases every year. Dude, we could have the post-apocalypse. Same show, bro. That's the thing. Die as a human species, and the corpse of Activision consistency would find some way to pimp out a COD game and go B battle pass, battle pass pre-order. But that's the state Bruh. of Call of Duty. Okay, you understand that? Bro, that's how now, it works. The last two Call of, of course, you would. Of course, you would literally just throw battle pass in because everyone wants to play battle. Everyone wants battle pass, bro. If I get a battle pass for like waking up and hanging a shit in the toilet, bro, I would be on, I would literally be, that thing would be maxed out in a week. It'd be maxed out in a week, dude. I'm dropping deuces on the fucking, on the buy daily, maybe sometimes try daily, you know what I mean? Call of Duties that have come out, all right, specifically Call of Duty for me has actually mm -hmm. been kind of an interesting game. See, Modern Warfare 2019 is a game that I absolutely love. I know that the entire community apparently hates it or something is from what I guess. Yeah, and that's Modern me Warfare with freaking ghosts, man. Was. New engine, Call of Duty. This was good. Looked like a game release that year. The reload animations are still worth simping over. I love the fact. Put that, that on a shirt. Same shirt. I will. I'll put that on a shirt. Hundred percent. For everyone to split the entire community into, and I genuinely Ooh. enjoyed the gameplay. The campaign was fun. A little the one in the corner. Ops felt like your average Korean MMO where you just lose no matter what. <laughs> I guess unless you put money into it. And then the multiplayer That's was true. actually That's true. a pretty good component. Gunfight is still really fun. Now, hmm. I realized, man, they must have really set the bar high. You know, somebody at Infinity War decided they actually wanted to make a game that year, and then they did. So then the year after, we got well, the Black Ops Cold War, which, honestly, if they can sell Black Ops Cold War and still make a profit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Black Ops Cold War was fucking sick, dude. I love, I love Cold War. It just the school-based matchmaking fucked it. You'd go in and rail dudes, and then you would get railed, like, for 10 games afterwards, man. <laughs> they could sell anything bro Activision. the moment when the g fuel kicks in wait for get up it off right up their chair, about spread their cheeks wrap <laughs> it into a plate <laughs> and sell it to you and yeah. when the g fuel kicks in bro buy it. if black ops cold war could sell anything can sell so now people like getting round yeah true 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 announced. true and boy, wait, that's a different round. I, uh, I saw the trailer. I wasn't super excited about uh, it. I think some of the best comments I've ever read is never pre order a Call of Duty game. General George's Patton. Bros, I'm kind of tired of this neutered down version World War II. Oh, man. Don't worry. Don't buy it. It's really sick. Activision Rails people's wallets. Like Fucking earth, they do. You'll get this. Absolutely. I don't buy 
Why? Absolutely. You drop the price of that know? game, bro, you get more people in. <laughs> I mean, you want to know what's funny yeah, about seriously, Bangor, wasn't there. Immediately when you start playing it and you look at the names of the teams, my team or the enemy team? What kind of Fisher Price card is this? <laughs> no, I just hey, wanna... hey, hey, hey. You just in case you forget what team you're on, baby. Because you can change like the entire settings and stuff. I changed, I changed the enemy team to blue and started shooting our dudes because I thought our dudes were the enemy. You can change the colors of all sorts of shit in this. So you, yeah, I'm it's like good to have a my team enemy team. Kind of funny, but I'm pretty sure when the game actually drops, they'll have like you know the CIA or like various like ex Nazi teams mentioned. There's no way they can't get around that. Get out of here! This guy's freaking sniping in a map where literally I've sat there with Crabman. Crabman's gone and and, and shot was shooting dudes shooting dudes up this way shooting dudes up here there was a dude over here see this body there was a dude over here i was standing here and hitting him with a freaking st with an stg bro with an stg i was smashing him with that you don't need this freaking sniper no rifle bro you just gotta be good you just gotta shoot be you just gotta be uh, and also you, you I just think gotta you just gotta have it you know didn't actually have teams i think they also use the big same nuts thing. on small shaft you know me but uh the game's campaign is actually about like the birth of special oh oh what the audio is gone Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow. Maybe he uh had said some controversial <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yep. Uh dude, what's up with the the audio bro? What what? What what? I did this to me last time. Wait a minute. Nope. Maybe. Maybe he got picked up for uh copyright? Maybe? I don't know. I don't understand playing oh, okay. this game. Okay. The user interface was the exact same that I've ever witnessed across Call of Duty. And you know, that's a COD staple, okay? You're like, Mooda, you're nitpicking. That's what we come for. You're right, okay? It's kind of a nitpick. But to be honest, if I put yes. Modern Warfare 2019, Cold War, and this game right next to each other, I'll you keep them like that. It's perfect for this frame. Identifying each and every game, okay? Unless you had prior history or something. I also love every time that you fire this game up, you just see the lineup of Call of Duty games in rotation. This is literally, they could have solved this if they had Call of Duty Elite. They had Call of Duty Elite just like Battlefield, um, just like Battle Log with Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, you could literally just launch whatever game from it. How hard is that? And then literally just bring out like a fucking 8 terabyte hard drive. Or, you know what you bring out? You bring out a freaking, a, a mini NAS that you can just like plug in your freaking, plug, plug it into USB, C, or whatever the fuck it is. And then you just make it Call of Duty branded and then you just chuck all your fucking games on there, bro. So hard, man. So hard, dude. Uh, someone pay me. Freaking marketing I ideas, boy. We got it. The road, we'll see like ten of these games stacked up next to Warzone. It's crazy. But you know, usually with Call of Duty games, I've always mm -hmm. found out that throughout the years, each COD experience always has like something unique going for it. You know, if you look at something like Call of Duty Four, they went into the modern era. You look at World at War, they went back, but they introduced a cooperative campaign. The best Call of Duty. Let's just say. World of War was the best Call of Duty by far, and it's not even the zombies that made it fucking amazing. It just felt fucking amazing. They brought in zombies, and generally the multiplayer was an extension of what made mm -hmm. COD 4 great. Then you look at Modern Warfare 2, and they're like, three kill streaks. How about 20? How about a crap ton of weapon unlock? How about camouflage Do you unlocks? remember when you'd have, like, your kill first? thing I mean, in front in the top middle, and it was literally like a fucking a slot machine? Just, just a bunch of shit that would just throw up. I miss the weed. I miss the weed, uh, the weed plates, man. Bro, that's the one. 16 terabyte hard drive? Enterprise hard drive? Bro. Why aren't you downloading him on your 16 terabyte hard drive? Wait, what is he doing? Keep an eye on this guy. Um, download it on your 16 terabyte hard drive. Absolutely. Yo, DB, what up, dude? What's he doing? Is he, is he nutting? It's the same oh, okay, right. That's every fine. Year. That's fine. But every development team usually brings something unique to it. So when I go to COD Vanguard, honestly, playing this game didn't feel like a World War II title to me. Now, hmm. the maps are all usually the boring same affair. If it's not the three-lane map design, it's like, hey, here's three random points. Let's have this open area okay. in the and just so build it for snipers. In this instance, tell me, if I can, tell me a game that you okay, think is fucking amazing. In Vanguard, you're playing the MP4 because clearly you have, you have a, some sort of standard, game, right? As dead brain as you can, okay? So spawn in, run into a site, never aim down your site. Bro, this is Call of Duty. This is 100% Call of Duty all the way down. Yo, Tucker, what up, dude? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, man. I'm good, I'm good. We're doing the thing. We're doing the thing, man. 
Uh, we should have to uh, she brains it. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> DJ, make sure you get those out. ...and start holding that left mouse button down like no tomorrow. Hmm. That's pretty much Vanguard's gameplay and strategy. You don't need any... DB also, uh, I do live chat instead of top chat. ...any more logical and tactical thinking beyond it. They mm -hmm. introduce some new shit like destestructible walls, but then they like make the destructible yeah. walls so like... Only in the same spot, out there. as well like, as talking about before. Like, like wooden planks that you can run through like your Oryx from Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> or you know somebody's behind it 99% of the time, so just pepper it with bullets and you get a free kill. Then you also Not all have the time. extra things like champ ch Champion Hill, which is the new game mode. I wanted so to play this. They have, like, you play this tonight? Teams of six, you guys... right, eight. It's actually a cool game mode. They just sort of spawn you in randomly with okay. team to team. And as long as you keep all your remaining lives by the end, you're kind of fine. It's kind of like a battle royale mixed with search and destroy, mm. kind of, or okay. gunfight, which I actually quite enjoy. I think it's okay. the only unique thing that Vanguard offers. Now, when you go to Call of Duty's like infamous, like terrible launcher, which I the live chat thing, um, Ace, is basically, uh, instead of uh, top chat, it's live chat. Live chat is live. Top chat is basically the filtered version of it. It's kind of weird. They need to get rid of that. I think this is a terrible launcher no matter what. This is in Canada, That's bro. Story. <laughs> That's not Todd even real Vanguard money. It's an action shooter. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and then you go inside their pre-order bonuses. This Mike, you 100% speaking my language, my guy. I think the best F FPS memory is Battlefield 3, 1,000%. Well... 2142, bro. Then follow the Battlefield 3. Hmm. And CSGO is in there somewhere, but... CSGO is in a league of its entire own. Um, you couldn't see some people last time? Yes, that's it. You have to remember to go to freaking live. Yep, yep, 100%. I'm sorry. This is why I honestly get blown away by this game and how much it sells. So they're selling you the standard edition for 80 Canadian, which is like 60. Bro, that's US. like 20 bucks here. But then somehow you can get some fucking brain damage and decide to buy the ultimate edition, okay? Now if you Hey, what's 129.99 in in Australian dollars, man? What's 129.99 Australian dollars? Um CAD to AUD. Uh 129. Oh wow, so it's still yeah, this is 140 bucks. Oof. Okay. Sure. Down into the actual differences. So 100, 100 to, gives you 150 game, Australian here. Uh, yeah. Gives you the opportunity to preload the game before launch. That's not a feature. That's a standard in every launcher now. Okay. What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? You got to save the internet. So all the ones and zeros, bro. You got to make sure you can match to the right people. Otherwise, they get wasted. You know what I mean? You can download the game before it comes out. That's a fucking feature. Oh, yeah? Yo, you know how bad the executives must have realized making an Ultimate Edition feature, Frank? All right, make those fuckers pay for preloading. <laughs> well, it's true. It's true. I like mean, shit. The Task Force 1 pack. So you get three skins. 160 you Ultimate Edition. Yes, it is. Blueprints with trace around, so that's the only thing Wait a minute. It's 160? You get this. With the Ultimate Edition. Wait a minute. It's 160? It's 160 bucks for the Ultimate Edition. Really? It's 160 but why the fuck would you pay 160 bucks for a fucking ultimate edition of this fucking game, dude? But what the what 160 It's 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 160 bucks, man. What Arthur Kingsley? Bro, is he even in this game? What why would you even pay that much, bro? That's 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 nuts. 100 100 160 bucks. For this game crazy fucking crazy man 100 100 160 bucks for this game wow you can literally just go ahead and gift it to fucking everyone that's nuts god damn 160 though fucking hell man that's a lot that's a lot <laughs> You get the battle pass. Button. Yeah, I bought it. What? The battle pass. You get to go on the battle pass. One season battle pass and 20 tier skips, okay? So that immediately matters for nothing after that season ends. So you have to buy the next they battle pay. pass, obviously. They're going to pay for the Unreal license for, for, that, for that set. Yeah, you're 100% right, right Jez. 100% right. They got to they they recoup their costs for that shit. Then you get five it's hours of double state. XP. <gasps> Five hours of double XP, bro. You know what you do with that five hours of double XP? 
you don't use it. You wait till double XP weekend and then you get double double XP. Unless they apply it right at the start, which is kind of shit. Five hours is a lot, man. Five hours, you basically do a five hour stream. You can probably fucking prestige off that dude. Almost double the price of the game. They can't even just fucking give you They don't stack. Experience. Are you fucking serious? For life. That's dumb. Okay. Like, what? What kind? What is this? What you're really gonna pay double the price for five hours of double XP? Is that really it? And I hundred percent. Uh, bro, uh, it's double. If it's double, then yeah, you pay double for double. Guarantee you, it's not. They don't call it a single. They don't call it a quarter pounder, and then and then you a double quarter pounder, and then they give it to you a yeah, free patty. You pay double even like double xp that's all usable in game time it's like you pop a you pop a double xp off and it calculates the time you spend in the game and between connecting games so they get you in every way anyways waiting for games is the experience they also right give you a campaign that's how it works if i'm gonna be honest with you call yeah. of duty it's only worth it for the campaign right like i actually love this guy this guy this guy play video games does this guy play video games I literally only played a storyline based game this year. The first time I played a game for its storyline. And that was Final Fantasy 14, son. I was going to build this whole fucking channel around that shit. And then I went, you know what? I don't have this time. <laughs> I'd never have ever, 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 ever. Oh, no. Okay, I lie. No. No. Yeah, I play okay. I played Call of Duty 1. But I've never, ever, 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 ever played. A storyline for, for Call of Duty or Battlefield. Like, shit. You buy it to shoot people, man. You don't buy it to freaking listen to a story. That's what YouTube's for, man. Modern War no, I haven't, bro. I honestly have not played. I tried Final Fantasy 14. It's not the combat at all. What about Metro? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I get you. I get you. I get you. Oh, okay. I was playing Metro to line it up for when the new game was going to come out. And then I wasn't streaming then. All right, Jez. All right, Jez. You win. You win. You win. You win. Mother liquor. <laughs> 2019's campaign. Uh, I loved Black Ops Cold War's campaign. I thought it was really interesting the way they handled it. Uh, and I, I actually wouldn't mind playing the campaign. Should we go play one. these campaigns? Is it worth sixty dollars to pay for what is a four-hour campaign? Hmm. No, that's why you pick. How do you know it's a four-hour campaign, bro? You know something. This shit up on a sale. Then you get multiplayer, which, look, man. <laughs> We just had a whole spiel about the multiplayer. It is not an enjoyable multiplayer experience. The campaign's are good for COD? Okay. Itself from previous Call of Duty games, especially the last two Call of Duty games. Aside from oh, no, I lie. I played a little bit of that No Russian thing when that came out. Whatever that game was. But Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare? Yeah, the No Russian thing. I remember that. Game mode. This is not a good multiplayer Eternally waiting for cat girls. Okay? Ooh, Quite ooh, honestly, ooh. it feels incredibly uninspired. Yeah, I what mean, is that? Even visually, it looks uninspired. Even on a top-end PC like mine, all the... Top... I, I, I believe that this game is a little bit too much visual clutter for what it is. Maps literally don't even have an art style worth going for. Even the characters are very hard to identify in between... Bro, you can't do that. You can't speak... You can't talk shit, man. You just got railed from around a corner, man. This isn't Get out of here. War. You're not holding you corners properly. You played too much time in that storyline, bro. You learned all those bad habits. You had proper enemy teams. You had <sighs> bro, why would you I mean, reload there? Listen, You'd slide to the left, reload, slide out. Is the safest place Bruh. Make a World War II game. It's what everyone knows. Now, listen, I know we all used to shit on Infinite Warfare, for instance, because it, quite honestly, wasn't exactly the best multiplayer. Okay. But that was a Call of Duty where they took some risks in the lore and the system they built. I'd rather have an Infinite Warfare and an Infinite Warfare-style campaign. Bro. Because if you never played the campaign to Infinite Warfare, you did yourself a disservice. Shit. Go pick that shit up for $5 and give it a try, because it is absolutely worth it, in my opinion. So Infinite Warfare, in that no, case, you know, at least you had different factions, different worlds, different things to explore. Call of Duty took some fucking risks. Yep. And no matter what, COD will always sell, regardless of the risks it takes. That's, Infinite that's it. Warfare that's was it. the most painful COD. Is. It but fucking is. And if you're a content creator, you can't go too wrong if you bet on COD. It's now, just that you have to basically time your shit. And then also, wade through the fucking sea of other shit. Make some half-decent content that people will latch onto. The best experience I had playing Call of Duty Cold War... Aside from the night me, Charlie, Hugby's, you know, Facts. and Funky and Justin Wang sat and basically crapped on Oof. a bunch of new players. Dude, aim. Playing with mangoes on zombies. That's about it. 
other than that, the game exact the game is just an uninspired nothing burger, nothing special about it. The fact hmm. that it basically popped up out of nowhere without really any fanfare surprises the ever loving shit out of me. Okay. But it almost doesn't because this year Call of Duty actually has some proper competition. That's right. You've got Halo around the bend. Hopefully when that drops. Also, don't forget, I think my game of the year so far is freaking Splitgate, man. You've Halo got with Portals. Battlefield around the bend, which turns out to be community favorites, okay? One of the things I always hoped Call of Duty would do when they introduced operators is like when they had specialists with like unique abilities. I was always wait a second. This ain't Call of Duty. Elevate Call of Duty. This is um it, the search and destroy the same. This as is uh, Counter Strike, right? right? Maybe look at something like Rainbow Six Siege and actually give these operators some special. Ability. They change this shit. Oh no, same man, same man, same man. And if you're going to introduce destructibility, there is Shout no man, Scott and Timmy, Pog Siege, man. I mean, that's a game that Ooh. needs more competition, and if Call of Duty could provide it, it'd be awesome. Because if you're just going to update the, you know, player counts and give, like, bargain... Bin the first company needs to basically make a clone playing, of Rainbow Six you know, Siege will fucking win, dude. Older battlefield title. So really Call of Siege, I feel like, is... The skill just, ceiling is getting dumb. At this point where, as long Ooh. as they can keep shuffling in... Alright, alright. Get all power bottom, and, dad. We know, we know what's going it. on. As we know what's going on. ticks all the boxes, that's where we're sitting at. Yeah, this is the... This, these are the three characters you end up getting. You get, like, Lucas, Polina, and Wade. This is the kind of stuff that I find insane about. No it. idea. I can almost guarantee you. No idea. Operator packs, right? So they're just skins for different operators. They have the operator concept, but they're so scared of turning it kind of like Rainbow Six Siege in a way. If you're going to introduce these operators, instead of making them look different, how about you give them... You gotta push to the tryhards and Siege. Yeah, absolutely. Styles. Absolutely. I would love a Call of Duty game. It turns to a point where sweats take over. And you just... too much. Six Siege. It's too much, man. And honestly... Given how current Activision is, do you honestly believe this girl, Polina, right here, who looks very good in this skin pack, won't end up getting anime Neko cat ears and running around the Axis battlefield? Sorry, the I mean, enemy team battlefield, looking like an anime cat girl. Like, that's supposed to be a bad thing. that's what it's going to be like. Now, there is one that's supposed, benefit. That's supposed to be a bad thing. I mean, it's cat girls. The game is only 20 gigs right now, but that's because it's in beta. I can only imagine the 200 gigabytes it ends up taking. I'd like to uh, justify my purchase, ladies and gentlemen. I don't mind. Cat girls? I mean, they're people too, right? They're people too. Up when it releases, I'm sure that His fringe looks sweaty, bro. He's been going ham. Impression yet, which is going to be a fun time. But ladies and gentlemen, that was... It's all that G fuel coming out. A game that, frankly... The first time in my life that I genuinely don't even care about a COD game. I had to actually look up Vanguard. I had to actually, like, look this game up. Normally, Call of Duty is such a big deal that all the information disseminates even to Aliens Beyond. But this is one of those games where I feel like Call of Duty generally just did not give a shit. That they yeah, in, but... They didn't care. It is what it is. They opened the previous game's project file, called it a day. That's okay. what Vanguard is, dude. And it is one of those Waiting for the game that's actually one terabyte for the base version. Me too, bro. Like poorly. I don't want anybody the game looking forward is Battlefield and Halo. Nonsense. You know where we are. 100%. Like Vanguard for some Battlefield and Halo, that's where we are. Like Battlefield and Splitgate, hey, play that. Waste of your time, all right? Nothing in this game is worth paying any amount of money for, okay? Unless this game... Bro, he literally just outlined cat girls. How, how can it not be worth your money if you... If... Cat girls. It's like an Come on, son. Off sale? At some point, come on, son. Then you can probably go pick it up. Hey, I wouldn't mind it then. I'll play the campaign. Mm -hmm. But as far as what multiplayer I've played, and before anybody says, but Muda, it's a beta. Let's not kid around. Bruh, it's the beta. Seriously, it's the beta. We're playing it for free, bro. Calm down, bro. We all played this beta, I hope, all right? I hope most of you have. Mm -hmm. This is what you're going to get on release date, all right? It no, bro, it's going to be different. It's going to be 100% different. It's 100% different. It what There's it is. more maps. This beta might as well be called an extended fucking demo. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. This is me, Mudahar. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you hmm. dislike it. Death Stranding comes out in like four days. I'm excited. I am out. Death Stranding? Death Stranding on PC? Is that coming out? Is that 100% coming out? Holy fucking shit. Really? God damn. God fucking damn. Look at us. Look at us up here. Look at us. Look at us up here, boys. We on. We on fucking top, boys. We are officially on top of Call of Duty Vanguard on YouTube. Let's go, son. Let's fuck. Everyone just give yourself a round of applause, please. Give yourself a round of applause. Everyone give yourself a round of applause. We've made it. 
We've summoned the nun. Everything is below us. We literally own this category now. <laughs>